Yo, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Brotherly Love Podcast. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday, everybody. We're here doing the what, Andy? The pod to pod. The pod to pod. Andy oh, started that all these months ago, and people are all over the world now. It's people crazy. Saying, <laughs> yeah, all over the and world. And by the yeah, world, I, the I mean... Street, people screaming, pod to pod. <laughs> yeah. That's Andy screaming at himself yes. in his shower. Um, and there's three people, and they're all yelling, it, and it's in Andy's house. Um, I record it on my phone. Yes, yeah, just, just play, play it back It's to his myself. alarm. He wakes up to it. Everybody's yelling at Joe. I woke up to it this morning. <laughs> it's your phone, Andy. Anyway, uh, welcome back, everybody. All right, so listen, I, normally we talk and we chit-chat, but we have... We have um, amazing yeah. guests in studio with us. So if you're listening everywhere, and but more importantly, if you're watching yeah, go watch. on our YouTube right this now, gonna be fun, you're going to be blown guys. away because we have we have we have literally a legend. We have history in the making. True, we have somebody who's been doing this as long as we have, which is yeah. very as, rare. The older that I get, <laughs> I'm finding it here. harder and harder to find people <laughs> that are doing. Like, how old are you? You've been doing this how long? It's like I know. It is what it is, but. This, she started, oh my goodness, um, when, when she was like three years old. Andy started when he was three years old and, uh, and still crushing it. Um, and in, in multifaceted, yeah. just all these well, different Well, back cool in the generation things. when you had to do everything, you had to be able to do it all. You couldn't just do it off of a meme. It That's actually true. had to have a little thing called talent. Um, <laughs> anyway. Authenticity. Ladies, authenticity, that's right. And longevity. There you um, go. And discipline, and uh, you yeah. know, a lot of fortitude and uh, thick skin, because uh, yeah. the ups and downs are crazy. Anyway, without further ado, everybody, um, we have Raven in the house. Woo! And, oh, and, and right yes, and, and, Miranda. Yes, we went to high school. How Ooh, crazy is this? I guess junior high. And when did you? When did we? When did we seven? went to junior high and Eighth? high school yeah, together? Yeah. Wow, so, that is. Eighth? I don't know. When did you get kicked out? Like, <laughs> 10, 10, 11. So grade. junior high. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you yeah. Go. They couldn't yeah. handle my film schedule. They That's couldn't just why. handle me there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody can handle you. Um, <laughs> but unbelievable, guys! Thanks so much yeah, for being thank here. Thank you so yeah. much for so, having, so much. having us. Oh my I'm goodness! I'm so happy to be here. I've thanks. been smiling since I walked through the door. Well, sure we have is. too. I mean, honestly, when we heard you know you guys were going to do it, we were just so excited. We're so excited. My mom was. Thrilled. Thrilled. Hi, oh mom. my gosh, this is gonna be the best episode. Please say hello for me. Yes. Hi, this mom. Is going on. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hi, mom. I mean, how many? How many years? Literally, back to the eighties. I back mean, back to the eighties. Like 80s. you said, I actually started started when I was sixteen months old, modeling and oh, doing all of that. Moved God. to New York, got first job at three yeah. years old on yeah. the Cosby Show, and I'm thirty seven now. Dude. So I understand Dude. it, you guys. This table feels comfortable. Isn't Ooh. it crazy? Honey. Isn't it cra and you know what's you know what's crazy is. I mean, honestly, you were arguably literally the cutest kid ever. ever. I mean, literally ever. Yeah, uh, yeah no, truly. Uh, <laughs> and that's, I, we were cute kids, too. We were, me. but honestly, no, I think you, you were, were so cute. Yeah, you were super cute. Andy I had a little yeah, crush on you, Andy. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah Andy was crazy. Mm -hmm. Andy yeah. was crazy, <laughs> crazy cute. But so were, but so were you. And it's, it, it, it's just incredible to think that all these years later, I mean, I went out my first commercial audition, got it, mm -hmm. right? New York. And you, but you, man, we were in the grind. I mean, we say all the time, like, Kids today don't know. Young people today, there is such a blank. They don't know the meaning of earning a well, dollar. Well, honestly, <laughs> no. We sound like we're like grumpy it's old true. people. We are yeah. grumpy. We are. I'm no. very grumpy. Yeah, we do. <laughs> don't understand. Yeah. I have music back in my day. I have no, Doritos, but... potato chips. I have oh. Funyuns all on my shoulder. Every <laughs> chip is on I mean, my shoulder. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm me, me too. Checks and I'll tell you, yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah, like we got them all. Um, <laughs> but it's like you know, we were we were just saying like like when when we go to a table read, like if you didn't nail it. Like, it was cut. Like, lines were out. It wasn't oh like... Geez. Or you were cut. Right. Yeah. Literally. Don't get me I mean, started I mean, right now. There were Please, no excuses. Don't start with me I don't me care right if you're now. three or four. <laughs> I don't care if you're four. You're not doing it. You were cutting you down. Don't start with out. me right now. Isn't it crazy? Because when I st first started back on, you know, working yes. and had younger people underneath me, literally, the parents were like, could you be a little bit nicer? I said, what? Yeah. They were like, because they're young. I said, so was I. Yes. And they were like, well, you know, we care. I do too. Yes. But I got a job and so do they. And they're getting paid. Let's work. Exactly. Why aren't you? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Isn't but it incredible? The, literally, it's a different time now. It is, man. Nowadays, you have massages during work hours. If you come to work <laughs> late, it's okay. We'll call HR and have a therapist there to talk to you about Isn't it. it. Unbelievable? If you don't know your lines, are you okay? Like when I was growing up, oh. you don't know your lines. Either you're fired, yeah. your paycheck gets docked, or you go home and get yelled at. I know. Because you're messing up. 
up the money for the family. I know. Of course. They, they don't. don't do that now. They don't. I get they all don't. three. Look, you're fired. Your paycheck is gone. <laughs> and I'm yelling at you. <laughs> oh, no, it's true. no. I'm I mean, seven. <laughs> no, no. It is. I don't care. But you, know yeah, you know what? You know what? You know what's crazy though is that is that they're not preparing these young people for for life. Actually, true. Life. And the problem is, and I feel like you know we talk about this all the, all the time. You know, everyone's always trying to do things better. Everyone's always trying to be better, be better, be better, right? And everything these these ideas start out with good intentions. The problem is they have terrible implications, right? Yeah. Because you're not setting these young people up for success. No. I knew it. I knew we were in, were in trouble when regardless of elections or whatever, you don't like them or not, like bringing in crayons and puppies for college kids who don't like election results. Like, oh my God, what? I mean, <laughs> we, this country has a history of hating election results. Once you start giving them puppies, <laughs> like I need to feel this. I can't do finals. Like, oh my, it's over. No, it's I, over. I, mean, I was shocked. I was shocked. How do we... I was shocked. Charlie came up to me and she was like, I'm really, really stressed out. Charlie like, is oh, Joe's eldest right. daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down, calm down. I was like, well, you know, what's going on? She was like, well, I went to, I had to go into the, the break room at my school twice today. And I was like, wait, break room? She's what's like, a break room? When we get stressed out, there's a quiet, there's a cool break room, room yep. that you can go to to de-stress. And I was Don't like, that no. sounds wow. pretty sounds lucky nice. there. I mean, are you like... Sounds like studying. Are, are, are the kids... <laughs> yeah. 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 We, had a, we had a break room. I was just saying, we had a break room that was detention. I know. So quiet in here, except for the other weirdo in the corner. <laughs> what happened? I, 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 I was in class. Yeah. See ya. Oh, no. see ya. So I was just yeah. shocked. I was like, they, that's not in my day. We no. Get a little, I mean, little it's just time out so, to ourselves. And the, and, and the problem is, I just don't know where we go. Like, I just feel like now we're trying to outdo ourselves with how kind we can be. Like, how much, how more. It's like, where do we go? It's so funny. When yeah. Babes and I started working together in the industry, um, something came across our desks, and she was like, no, I don't want to. And I was like, What'd you say? <laughs> she said, no, no, we don't we don't want to do that. I said, we, you can say no? And she goes, yeah, of course you can say no. I said, really? That's that's allowed? Oh, she was like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, literally, Crazy. I'm not allowed to say no yeah. Yeah. if you are in the process of doing something. It just doesn't happen because right. the way that we're taught, if you don't say yes, they're going to give it to somebody else. True. If you don't do it right the first time, they're going to pick the worst time, and then you're never going to be a big again. Like, it's yeah. the fear that was instilled in us. Yep is so different than it now. Is. Now it's like, I have a headache. Oh, sit down. But there's a multi-million dollar photo shoot happening. It's okay. Take your time. It's like, what? Oh, yeah. I had to go when I was menstruating, when I was all kinds of things. No one gave a care of course. about yeah. it no. at all. No. I had a no. 104 fever and had on an IV filming this Disney movie and they would literally take out the IV and throw me and I'd wrestle, <laughs> get slammed down. <laughs> I'd walk back over during cut. They'd put the IV back in me. That's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. Like I had no excuse. We were watching one of her old movies the other day because I had not seen it. Because we like, always watch them every night. <laughs> 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 she <laughs> makes us. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say our... that. This is uh, people are going to see this. We <laughs> send we send TikToks of Raven as a little girl back and forth to each other, that's and then so we cute. watch old movies that Raven was in. That's what all we do all that's the time. Fantastic. <laughs> that's I'm fantastic kidding. and creepy. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm totally good. kidding. But we were watching it. And she goes, oh, this scene, I remember it only because I was so sick during it. There you go. And I was like, I can tell you look congested. And she was like, yeah, I was. Congestion has a look of us. <laughs> yeah. It's in scene it's B. Yeah, those, those bags under your eyes. <laughs> yeah. You were fine. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was the sinus. Yeah. It was draining. I was very congested. I don't know why I added that part, but I was just like, I can, I can definitely see that you were congested. under the weather. Yeah. The congestion. I know you're sick face, babe. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. But she was like, she couldn't remember the rest of the movie or filming, mm. but she remembered that specifically. I also disassociated half of my life. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, I get the point it. was, yeah. is you were very sick and you were having to work through mm -hmm. your sickness. And yeah. I understand. And I Absolutely. feel like it's really wonderful that you're at this table with these guys because I feel like this is going to be some kind of healing it moment is. and feeling yeah. seen and connected with everyone because mm. you guys had the same experience. Yeah, you we will did. caulk yeah. the chips, do a little sanding, <laughs> yes. you know, exactly. move them off. Yeah. 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 You come out of here yeah. feeling crunch, renewed, yeah. like a like a like Dorito. a nice personality loofah. <laughs> um, exactly. No, it's uh, you know, look. Here's 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 the thing. I just there is so much chatter, right? And and and, and it's always there's always the loudest voice in the room that sort of gets the attention. What are you yeah. talking but about? I, yeah, but I feel <laughs> but I feel like at the end of the day, I mean, the people that 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 work hard. Hard. After all is said and done, they're gonna still be the ones standing because so working because hard. because these people that are that that are not treated as such and are treated with such kid gloves. The first bit of turmoil, right? Oh, 
it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And at the end of the day, man, it, it's it's like you will fail. Yeah. yeah. Failure is part of the journey. You have to. It's actually. It's actually a lot of the journey. No, it's the most important part of the journey. We don't learn when we succeed. That's we only right. learn when we fail. That's, well, right. exactly that's right. just the human so you condition. <laughs> well, no you can what? You <laughs> fun. You can definitely fun. learn when do you failing. Guys, yes. Do you guys love what you do? Yeah, um, majority yes. of the time, yeah. Majority yes. of the time, yes. I it's been we always say this too is it you know this whole i mean obviously like right the whole business that we grew up in it, i i try to tell our dad all the time right because he's been selling insurance for years and does you know life he, still, plans. he kept his job oh yeah he kept does insurance job. all this oh, stuff wow, so, you guys so have grounded but, parents. but he said but he said you know like he you cut to my dad and he's right, like right right in vegas right, right. Right. in a leopard robe right. yeah. <laughs> let me tell you this life insurance policy. my son bought me this bentley <laughs> no uh, no but no but but um you know and i'd be like dad you know it's it's crazy because it'd be like if or I, and I say it all the time. It's like if, like Kobe or Michael, like you play basketball, and all of a sudden you wake up one day and they say, "Yeah, yeah the, the the goal is not to put it. We're not putting it in the hoop anymore. No one's dribbling because dribbling's too hard on the knees. So now we're just going to walk it around the court. And then we shoot. It's like, how am I going to play basketball? Then we're going to play dribbling? tennis, right? What with a right. basketball? No. And it's it's like it's like we they, redefine the industry. The entire business that we grew up yeah. in, the the way you work, the way yeah, you put projects together, yeah. the way you audition. I mean, it's gone. It's the entire thing has changed, right? And you know they were obsessed with like. Oh, the social media star. That'll be the one that can supplant the actor because Didn't we, work. we don't have to deal with their crap. It, it's not a one-to-one. -one it no, doesn't work. No. They don't it's translate. It doesn't work. And it doesn't. I mean, it has not. You have the stars. You have those little, um, you know, lightning in a bottle moments yes. where, you yes, do. I credit those people who did make it. We have a couple Absolutely. of friends in the industry. Yes. But no, on, an overall, yes. on an overall, it is a different talent. It, it is. is a different yeah. talent. And even for the talents that are coming up in our industry, the work ethic, and you don't go to school for it. They have not created right. an authentic Ooh, school. And wouldn't that be something that, smart? I want to do that so bad. Ooh, that because would be super cool, It's guys. not just the talent. It's no. the work ethic yeah. behind the camera. It's 100%. knowing how to... Like, <laughs> I had a I had a moment a long time ago. I was in a chicken suit. Let's just start there. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. And um, I was running across a lot, and they were filming me at the time. And oh, I not fell. at Air One. No, not at Air One. That's oh, a double it. situation. Got it. And I fell, and they were like, "Cut!" I got up so quick and went to the director and said, "Why the." Did you cut? Yeah. You fell. Are you okay? Oh, I said you oh, missed oh, that. Oh, right. You missed that. There totally. You go. What are you doing now? That I was... have to fall again, but now it's not going to be the same because that was genuine. Yeah. That was old school comedy yep. in the way where they would have never said cut. Never. I was, I That's was a great done example. Right. With the rest of the season, and literally got canceled a couple of episodes after, and I was like, I'm fine with it yes. because there is no understanding. Yes. Yes, we might have more mental issues in the new generation coming yes. up. However, we have a connection to our bodies, ourselves, our com comedic timing, exactly. our energy, different than other people who literally put the boundaries up soon before they go through those hard moments. Absolutely. Yeah. 100% correct. It's Absolutely. ridiculous. Absolutely. I'll never forget right. that moment. I'll that never actually, forget that's, that moment. That is actually, that's, that is, wow, that is very poignant because that's that's a great <clears throat> example. Cut. What? Me too. I, you yeah. just killed the... Yeah. That was a comedic moment I could never recreate. Never. An actual so fall true. in a moment where a so fall would true. work and I could use it. In a um, chicken suit, oh my God. you guys. That's, that's feet brilliant. up in the air, yeah. oh my bleeding God. again. And I'm bleeding. You really didn't get it? Oh I didn't even God. hurt myself for a good purpose? Uh, yeah, that you could have moved on. It could have been one and done. One that's and it. done. See, one I'm done. like, let them bleed. <laughs> Don't <Yeah>. cut. <laughs> Don't cut. <laughs> That's the kind are of they still Randy. breathing? Yeah, they are. All right, you know, just we can give mouth to mouth resuscitation <laughs> after we cut. I, I, I gotta say this: just watching you talk right now, from yeah. me sitting, from seeing you from such a young child to now, and seeing and kind of—I mean, I'm not trying to tout our own horns here, but just looking around this table, going, "Wow, you know, we're we're going to be stepping into those roles as being like mm. the mentors, the, the yeah, people who know yeah. what to do in this yeah. industry." Yeah. And it's so wild to look around this table, knowing yeah. all you for so young. I mean. Obviously, no. I've known Miranda for a but, long but time. But you guys yes. have, and to be honest, now I'm starting to remember because I used, to, I did meet you. Actually, he went to Camel Hall and used to come down yes. and hang out. I really? remember. Yeah, 17, I remember. I've, yeah. I've got a picture of you now with a young girl's face in my mind, so I know that I actually have. You look the so same. Sorry. You haven't changed. Don't worry about. Oh, it. Oh, you know what? I, she loves that. She sits with her red mask on. Oh, for four hours. Is that the one? 
<laughs> Does it work? Just got called out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I love Thank that thing. So it's much. funny. We just yeah. yeah. We got We, gotta we go. actually put that in the movie. Remember that in Frankie Meets Jack? Oh, that yeah. was in there. I was yeah, dating this. We should... I was dating the wrong person in there, and she turns around with this mask, and she it looks like Darth Vader. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Dude. You got to do a bunch of research though to find the right one with Does the it right work? light. The right oh, yeah. red well, light. She looks the, seven. What are you talking about? The red light. The red light one that I have is the best. One you can get on the market if really? you're not in a doctor's office. Which one office. is that by chance? Um, should I say it? And say promote it. it? Absolutely. It's called Omnilux. Omnilux, we love you. Send yeah. stuff. <laughs> yes. Give us, right. Give us some. Omnilux. Yes. If we yeah. if Omnilux sends stuff, which I'm sure they will, we will wear them on the pod. We will wear and we will send them to you. You guys yeah. should wear. Oh, them. We will wear them on yeah. the pod. Can you send we'll turn that off around all the lights. June 16th. Yes. June 16th. Yes. Yeah, send it yes. around June 16th. Our wedding anniversary. 2023. But put it from Raven to Garden. Oh, perfect. So we'll post date it. Yes. Get your little gifts. <laughs> Babe, the reason why the reason why I know it's the reason why I, mean, I didn't give this to you FYI. then was because it was a special order. I had it personally made. It took three and a half months. Yeah. That's why I'm. But you know, good things come to those who wait, baby. And also came with a time machine because she wants it sent June 16, 2023. Listen, yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. Listen, okay. I, I can remember a script, but I don't know math. It's okay. It's okay. It's, okay. it's all good. It's all good. It took a while to build it. It took three and a half months. That's why it's September now. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. No. Happy Friday, everyone. Yes. Yes. Yes, exactly. Hilarious. Exactly right. Yeah. There you go. But I, I really, you're right, Matt. I mean, that, that we are going to be moving into those roles yeah. now. And you know what's crazy? I think a school would be That's incredible. Like a cool. two-year school would be unbelievable. And I'll tell you why. Because they aren't teaching, to your point, those lessons anymore on set. On Give Me a Break, like when I was working with, you know, Hal Cooper, right, and Rod Parker, and these guys that did Maud and Oof. Jeffersons and like yeah. these were the, they were teaching us right yeah. Nell Carter dude oh, and I, I and I'm sure on the, I'm sure on the Cosby Show like Oof. you were learning from the people going that's not gonna work nope yeah. nope nail it be here do this it was school dude it was school it was yeah. school yeah. it was school and, and it was real and it was real and you know I <laughs> I tried my best to do it a few times well, actually yeah. I did succeed with one person I have to say Isaac Ryan Brown has soaked up all the information that's that I've awesome. thrown cool. at him mm. in any kind of way if you put him on any set he understands that's awesome. so much so he went on to another set he goes they don't act the same way we do. Right. Mm. They don't know what they're doing. They're on the phone the whole time. Right. Oh, my goodness. Right. They were so young on my show. No phones allowed. You're not allowed Love to it. wear flip-flops or sandals Love to work. Love it, dude. Two weeks before we started filming, I needed you to go through a physical th uh, physical comedy class. I taught you how to fall. Wow. I taught you how to trip. I taught you how to Good fumble job. a thing. That is so cool, dude. And some of them soaked it up, and some yeah. of them didn't because they didn't understand hmm. how yeah. they were like, well, I'm not a comedian. It doesn't matter if you're a comedian or not. It matters yeah. that you know how to work in your body. That's it matters it. that yeah. you understand like when your leg actually hurts, you make it a part of the character. Yes. You, you don't go. soak it up and cry somewhere. If yes. your costume doesn't work, fix it yourself. I have a yes, question. Absolutely. This is devil's advocate a little bit. Sure. But the world is changing so quickly, right? And yeah. now we're entering this whole new world of AI and trying yeah. to understand. Is there a point though where like this school and what you guys came from and I was exposed to too through my father, right? My dad was a vice president in Warner Brothers mm -hmm. and he is someone that Raven can connect with on this level that you yeah. guys would probably all be able to swap stories and whatnot. So it's like I understand old Hollywood and the way that old Hollywood, but I understand <laughs> yeah, watch it. that. Yeah, you're not, you're not that old. Okay. And I understand like how things worked. But if we were saying the flip phone was really great, you get less radiation, it works, but everyone is using iPhones. Yeah. You can't keep up. You can't send emails. You, mm -hmm. You're typing mm -hmm. like, is there a balance now in saying yeah. that I, set doesn't work anymore, but this is what the reality of set today looks like? I think there is a balance. Mm -hmm. I think there is a balance of understanding that social media is necessary in it our is. world. You're right. However, it's not necessary after I say cut and I'm trying to give you a note and you're on your phone. Right. It's you necessary know. when you go sit in the makeup chair and you do your sit. I'm about to cuss. You do your shit thin. All right? <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> That's but I'm thinking. not speaking specifically but, but to I'm, social media. I'm saying the, the way in which you're I'm, talking about profes like professionalism and showing up, that you think is a consistent stay? I do. And even the I fast do. fame of it all, right? But it, like, if everyone else is on a different level, do you then put yourself in a... No. Here's what I'm worried about. Do you guys about. get what I'm getting I at? Think, yes, yeah. I do. I think to this Absolutely. point, I think to this point, okay? Well, there even be a need for that vigorous... 
well, training and, I, and right, lifestyle because right. it, could it, can it be potentially replaced? Well, there's going to be one hell of a fight before that fully takes over exactly. and they'll recreate. I mean, Sky I don't Nets. see. Look, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. At the end of the day, look, John Connor, yeah. this way, get down. <laughs> um, Let's go. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. You're so They're hilarious. No, I think that, look, I think at the end of the day, and I always try to do these sports things, which I know I lose a lot of people, but I look at the game of basketball, right? I hate it. I'm not listening anymore. Okay, perfect. <laughs> See, I knew it. It's all right. Half the audience done. It's okay. They're still watching. You know why? Because you're on. Oh. Um, yes. No, but, uh, but you know, and I always say, look, yes, the game has changed, right? So Steph Curry comes out, and all he does is shoot a bunch of three-pointers, and he's the greatest Deep shooter ever. Right. They're great. And they the whole game amazing. has changed, right? Mm-hmm. They're not and going his, inside I mean, the least to 0.8 seconds. You know, we it's don't, it's remarkable. But Let's get digressing. to the point here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so the point is, the point is that that in that when Michael was playing and Kobe and LeBron, there's always an argument as to who's the greatest ever. Okay. At the end of the day, what those guys all share in common fundamentals. is fundamentals and work, work ethic. ethic. Yep. So at the end of the yeah. day, although the criteria by which yeah. we need will be different, yep. we won't need maybe the same skill set. The work ethic, the fundamentals are going. That is that's going to still separate the people that really succeed and the people that have an opportunity but don't quite get there. And you know why that's, uh, I believe yeah. that 100%? Because even the people that are succeeding in the new um, matrix of the industry, the YouTubes, the Emma Chamberlains, yeah. the Lily Sings, and all of them, yeah. they're, they're working. They're, they're out working. Working. hard. They're out working. So, yeah. They're just, just out working. Very hard. Yeah. We yeah. even just, uh, like, because, you know, we've been we've been the, working hard behind the scenes, doing a lot of behind the camera stuff with producing, writing, directing, and, and right. we have a little, doing some stuff. I'm having some success, and it's great. But over the last six months, building this pod and kind of reestablishing ourselves on social media, yeah. it's a lot of it's work. It's a lot of work. So much work. Now, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. become yeah. my nine to five. It is literally, yeah. I'm either shooting, editing, or writing to create. It's wild. Right. And, and All it just, the time. It takes, you know, at least when you're making a movie or something, you go home and you're like, okay, now everything's done. I'm, I can get a few hours sleep. I can eat and then wake up and do it again tomorrow. But with the social media stuff, it's almost like, shit, I'm eating. Should I be filming this? Yeah. yeah. Can, I, yeah. can we make what it am a I bit? Doing? Yeah. Can we make it a bit? And you're really yes. wasting time because you're calling Instagram and I'm calling uh, customer yeah. service. We had this conversation. Okay. <laughs> no. Just to catch everybody up. I am IG. Okay, I have an IG. Oh, this is Andy hey, Lawrence. Andy I knew Lawrence I was a dumb. Calling. I knew Andy I was a Lawrence, dumb I'm verified. I, a, okay, yeah. <laughs> I am verified so I'm on kind of a, your platform. I'm, Hello? Like, I'm good running programs, but I'm a bit of a digital dolt. It was, like, it was on right? hold for six hours. Yeah, I called Instagram, Instagram customer service. I Googled it. I was like, is there a number that I can call? <laughs> Because I just have, I was having some issues, and then uh, and then you got transferred to Amazon. I got transferred to Meta, yeah, right. and, and then then to Meta. Amazon, oh and then God. started talking about previous orders, and it was a whole thing. And then I realized <laughs> this is not Instagram. Yeah. This is Pedro. I don't even know who I am. And then I hung up, and and then Miranda has clued me in that I need a I need a contact or something. Yeah. They just don't pick up the phone I'm now. I'm gonna help you, Andy. I'm going to hook you up. Exactly. <laughs> it's crazy. Nobody picks up the phone anymore. Up no, the, I hate it. It's no. my biggest pet peeve. No, 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 no. Nobody yeah. talks. First oh, of all, I hate the self the checkout Everybody too. Talks. I love how I'm they have to have people. They have to have people at the self checkout to help you with the self checkout. That they fired everybody. So they don't have to hire anybody. And all they do is hover over yes. you. Yes. And look. <laughs> all they do is hover. Like they look. And then when it's I'm like offensive. this. Yeah. I'm like, can you help me? I'm busy. What are you doing? <laughs> beep. Beep. You and t- someone will be over to help you, you shortly. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. It's a blueberries. <laughs> What's going on? It's so irritating. It is. It is. The it weirdest. Is. We, are, we are in such a weird. Can I have a bag? We are in such a can weird. Can I have another I bag? I know. That's going to be 10 cents. cents for a bag? And I got to be careful of what I say. It's okay. Okay. I think that, you know, a lot of people are like, we don't have jobs, you don't have jobs. I'm like, there are jobs out there. They might not be super high end, but totally there are true. things that we need True. on an everyday. And it's like sometimes essential workers. Essential workers. Yes. And yeah. those essential workers are on the other side of the phone. Yeah. Those essential workers are right. at our grocery store. Absolutely. But it's like, don't think that just because that job is there, you like put your pride away. We totally. gotta, we gotta make the world work. Yes. Look, look, you know, I was really Im- impressed. There was an actor who, I guess, somebody took a shot of him because he was working at Trader Joe's to fill some time. He in. He was on Cosby Show. Yes, right. Yes, yes. he was right. on Cosby Show. Yeah, I saw this story. And I loved his response. He was like, a job is a job, man. Yes, like, it is. And I was like, yes, heck yes, yeah, man. Because to be honest, as an actor, we've all been there. Dude, we've all are you either the... contemplating had to get a real job or had to yeah. get a real job. Okay, I mean, let's just get that straight. That's the way it works. Even the, the, the top people, I mean, there's so many stories. You get to the top and of the you, thing and then you, and you nobody also, will hire you. you. It's you, just the way it you is. You learn a lot of risk. I, I, I picked up a job. Uh, it was a really, I was, it was a long story, but I had to clock in and I had never clocked in before in my life. This was in 2019. Luckily, it was for my friend. It was for my friend's company, so it was a whole thing. Later. And I checked in 
and uh, and and nine to five, and I and I, and I just I, I earn so much respect for the guys yeah. that do that for a lifetime. Heck like yeah. they go there yeah. every day, and they put in their hours. The and steel they go mill home. workers, right? Yes. People that are Holy honestly, no. now, man, the what boxers are, and the listen. shippers, and like these. Those people, are the people. Those are the foundation. That's the engine really of our is. country. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, I yes, mean, trash men. These guys. Yes. Like, I mean, this is. Yes. Like, we'd be literally buried alive in our yes. trash exactly. without. I yes. love that it's show. So I mean, great show. It was actually. I wanted to say something. New episodes of Warriors on Netflix. Oh, it's fantastic. So I wanted good. to say something, too, Every about the guy. I watch it. Sorry, mm-hmm. baby. I feel better about my life. Mm-hmm. Sorry. <laughs> about the guy who was an actor who got a real job. I also like to say this to the people who come up underneath me. Actors are interesting because we're the ones that actually don't have consistent work unless you're in the top 1%. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. The consistent yeah. workers in the industry are the lighting, yes. makeup, yes. grips, 100%. Yes. Not even Crafting. camera, camera, not even writers. You're you know right. what I mean? Not even producers. No, it's right. the people that actually make the show look good that you're watching. Yes. So Anybody true. that you're actually watching is just the fluff. That's right. So that's why you hear the stereotype of waiters as actors and all these things because Absolutely. our job is so finite and small. Yes, it thin. is. It is. You know, so you have it to have is. something to come back on. Your parents, I know your mom, you said, is big on education. So is mine. I went to college for art. Right. And like right now, not working. What am I doing? I'm in my studio making a whole bunch of art. Like, there you okay. Go. so cool. No matter what happens, I'm going to sell it. Totally. You know what yeah. I mean? So I got a cool. backup plan. That's totally. Totally. Cool. No, and honestly, Five that is vital. It's vital. So yeah. vital. It's vital. It is having skills, truly having yeah. skills, honing skills, working hard, perfecting. Branching out. These yeah. are vital things, man. You know what? You know what other two that a lot of people just missed on this topic too? When we talk about an actor, well, isn't it an actor's job to be able to put the, yourself in somebody else's shoes? That part. Yes. You might want to go get a real job you might once yeah. to know what that's that part, like. Yeah. That to part, be able yeah. to portray that kind of yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. Like I, I was well, just also, shocked by that reaction the, from people. But the life of an actor. Uh, the best kind of description I heard about it is it's really finite because it's it's you're only actually getting to do what you want to do for a second. The rest of the time is you're waiting. Tom no, Hanks said he. Tom Hanks says he pays to wait. He gets paid to wait. He acts for free. There you go. There you go. And it's, it's really the truth because mm-hmm. what are you on a set for? How long out of the year? And then that right. shuts down, and then you're looking for your next job. And it's mm-hmm. really it's 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 quite well. The and journey. people also hear salaries and they hear things and they hear the salaries of the top one of one percent. Sure, but then you don't. What work they don't for hear it. is when you're coming up. Yeah. Wait a minute. And and when you are auditioning for three months and you're driving all over the city and your entire day you're spending your own capital. You're do. You have a second job to help just pay the pay the bills and then you literally by the time you get that job if you extrapolated the hours that it took to get that oh job my gosh. the physical payment for that job i actually did it on a couple of jobs several of jobs it was actually less than minimum wage if i actually extrapolated the yeah, hours the that it took me yeah. to get that actual and then finally think, that physical job and then if you think about Taxes oh my and, God. and if you have a team, oh my God. There you go. then you're paying at the end of the day, you're pocketing very well, I won't say very little, but yeah, you are third. significantly you're, you're less than one third of it. what yeah. one would expect. Yeah, you probably, yeah and, and then 100%. also that's gotta last you too, because when when is the next game? When are you working again? Who knows? In, it could be the years. In, the inconsistency Literally. Really. And just, that's why I decided to just not work. Period. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. I was just like, I'm just not gonna do that's any I of do. it. That's, that's so, the right thing. Somehow I don't feel like that's actually no. Well, I was I'm not an I'm the only non actor at the table. But you're working. I can see but we've had working. conversations about I, all this stuff. Know, you're you're running you're running the juice, man. You're working. You're I'm working, working a little yeah. bit. You're yeah, working. No, I'm kidding. I no, work. Honestly, I work. every day you start the day off. I feel like productivity is the key, right? Yeah. You wake up every day. They wonder why it's important to make your make your bed or do these do yeah. these things, right? That's a task that you've accomplished within ten seconds of getting up. And if you start your day on a task based sort of motif. Then the rest of the day will be productive. True, yeah. and that's it, it's those little things. I Dude, when I, I don't make my when, bed, I just wind up back in it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know. Well, this is this is still. Well, you know what? He's got sleeping. this adorable French bulldog that loves to take morning naps. It's oh, hilarious. I love a morning nap. Yeah. I do too. I feed him, and then we take our mid-morning nap. I love that's that. I know. Yeah. Just for an hour or two. That's like me and my paintbrush. I get up at like oh, four o'clock in the morning. There you go. I do my art journal, and then I get back in the bed until ten. Oh, I love it. I, I love that. That's kind of really cool. Do. I have I, three I kids. What happens when you don't have a job? I have three kids. <laughs> three kids? Yeah. You're never sleeping. I have, yeah. na- I have not slept since 2006. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, yeah, 17, well. 13, and six months. Wow. Oh my God. So you're not God. sleeping for I another 17 for years. I know. I know. I know. Job. I know. But at the same time, fulfilled? 
Oh, it's great. It's great. I mean, I have three girls. They're the coolest. So it's I'm really fulfilled. wild being yeah, a yeah. Thank goodness for those really, girls. Yeah. It's really wild they being They keep a, me afloat, being man. A, yeah. Emotionally. Being a girl dad. They really do. It's crazy. It's so crazy. You know? Um, yeah, it's Would brilliant. you ever put them in the industry? You know what? Or it, are they in the industry? No, they're not. Uh, Charlie was actually in a movie that we uh, that Andy directed that, that we all produced for uh, Lifetime. Uh, and she... Um, she crushed it. She was amazing. She's really good. She's really good. No, I yeah. think she's talented. Uh, they both, by the way, Libby, my two Very older talented. ones, I don't know what Dylan's going to do yet, but mm -hmm. she's a ham. But, um, but uh, Libby and Charlie uh, also have unbelievable singing voices. And when I tell you they can sing, I'm telling you like Ariana Grande singing. Wow. So, but Charlie's also a killer artist. Oh, Charlie you would, is. You dig Charlie. Charlie I mean, is, she's shocking. She's like, never had a lesson in her life. She's a really good she's artist. Unbelievable. You know yeah, where she, she just got, really she went to uh, She went to a college, uh, I don't want to name the name, but she went and visited a school, very prestigious art school, um, and she loved it. Um, she's a very gifted artist. So. I love really that. I want to see it. Uh, she's tremendous. You know she brought love, me a pencil drawing. I love drawing. seeing my brother talking about his babies like this. Oh, yeah. She Papa. brought me a pencil cool. drawing. I'll never forget this when she was yeah. about 10 years old and it was a hummingbird. I thought it was, I thought she bought it. I was like, Aww. you. Or like some digital art yeah. or something. I said, she, Wait a minute. She's like, yeah, dad. I was like, you, you did that with color pencils. This hummingbird, it's mind blowing. Wow. And she, nobody taught her. No, no lesson. So I know it's a gift, you know? Yeah. Um, and I don't know what she's going to do with it. But to, to answer your question, they've, they've, Sort of in and out, maybe every now and then. Maybe I want to be a singer. Charlie was like, maybe I want to act. But, you know, no. But they're also doing it at an older age. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you didn't put them into the industry at three. No. Giving them, like, there's. it's interesting when you get in the industry so young. It's like, yeah. do you, can you leave? It becomes well, a part of you. Thing. It really, yeah, most of the time. That's the thing. I yeah, don't know. It's so true, it becomes, right? Can just, you get out? Can well, you? It's almost genetically that's, woven in at that point. I mean, point. that's why we started... Yeah, yeah, we started to make. I mean, at some point, it's like, well, we, if, I just, yeah, if I can't just, yeah, if I can't just act, like, in like, just how do? That's I why we started to produce and Andy directing, and we're producing gigs. movies. Yeah, like, yeah. Should, maybe because we write and start making movies, and then it, it works because no, we're so nine long. in, like, oh, you know. Shit. So, and we're just getting started. But yeah. I mean, so we that's why. Our, but finished, it's also a good thing because when you do have that education so young, like you said earlier, we will become the fabric of how Hollywood needs to grow into it, like. I started directing. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. We yeah. Super cool we, stuff. We, we want to produce stuff and create stuff, and it's like exactly. I don't have to be in front of the camera to That's get that exactly. film it. I love. I know. I, mean? I noticed. I love that. Yeah. We're same I mindset. I yeah. it. We were looking at like the Russo brothers, and yeah. you know, you're thinking like, okay, the Duffer brothers, and we're like. Wait a minute. We we have the we're Lawrence these, brothers. We're brothers. Wait, 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 what's going on here? We're freaking brothers. Holy shit! No, but I thought what do these guys have? And we know. We can do it. No, but but you know, honestly, like we were looking at when they started to do that, they didn't have the experience that we had. When exactly. when they started that, they had no right. experience. Yeah. So we're thinking like, okay, we can do that, you know, and and that's why we did it. And so far, so and good. They're directing Marvel right. movies, and we're doing and we're Lifetime doing... and Christmas films. Yes. Hey. Let me tell you about a Lifetime movie. Though. And a Christmas movie. That. <laughs> let me tell you about a Christmas movie. We have a sequel coming out this year. Let me tell you can something. Can we talk about it? Because we're trying to get into that world. Oh, okay. I got okay. You I'll tell you See? something. Because it's put real. Together, we, did, yes. we put together we did. a little Christmas movie. Little Engine that Andy, could. Andy spearheaded it. I have to give Andy Thank credit for that. Yes. But it ended up our little movie that we sold to Amazon. It was an independent. They had big Christmas movies. They they budget and big movies. Became the number one Christmas movie. Movie yeah. on Amazon in 2021. I yes. love that. Truly, we were, and Andy always says this because it was just so wild, but we were ahead of Chris Pratt's movie. Yeah, yes. for a while. Yeah. I know yeah, we love saying. Tomorrow, yeah. Andy's like, yeah, we were ahead of. What was the name of the I movie? I was checking War the stats. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> mistletoe mix up above come, War of Tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, he comes running out. He goes, man, yeah. we made it. We beat. We're ahead of Chris Pratt. Pratt. It's, it's useless. <laughs> yeah, but it but it felt really great. And all through December, we were we were like, see Bowfinger. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When he comes out, he's like, "We got a go picture." <laughs> 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 and he had the Steve Martin moment. If you've so never mad. seen yeah, Bowfinger, we so please, yeah, please see it. go see a great movie. Eddie Murphy's incredible. Steve Martin is incredible. Yeah, the movie Heather Graham. The movie yeah. is such a funny Our, look at Hollywood. That was, at, Hollywood. At Hollywood. That, was yeah. Yeah. that was me. Our production uh, partner Tim and I were literally refreshing the page like every five minutes, going, <laughs> yeah. "We're still there. We're still yeah, there. We're still in the top." So we now are doing the sequel. Will will be out. We shot the sequel. Already comes. We just delivered it. It's coming out this Christmas. We're very excited. Yeah, I'm so proud of you guys yeah it's pretty crazy Super proud i have a question guys. for you andy three years old and starting to act and all of that jazz that was the, the chair, chair. <laughs> <laughs> we've done this now five She's times like, in here and it releases your guys <laughs> 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 I'm I'm yeah. question i get nervous oh <laughs> let me do it again um, no more questions for this one do you feel like what was the 
your origin story in terms of getting into acting? Because Raven and I often talk about this where she kind of has her story, but it's like, was it the story my parents told me? Did I actually have interest? Like, where interesting you know when you're that young it's yeah. like three-year-olds yeah. all the time will say like i want to be a fireman well, totally you know I, mean? I, I don't I, here's a hose go put out the fire <laughs> i always wanted to i legitimately wanted to be batman yeah and i think that i understood that the industry could kind of facilitate that maybe more than reality could. i think you wanted to be really like a like a batman actual in batman. this world like a actual <laughs> bat not an acting batman but a real yeah. batman mm -hmm. there's an amazing like not on hollywood Boulevard. no not, not on hollywood. Yeah. exactly there's an no, amazing like clip out there batman. which i've which i've which i've actually somebody he shared inspired it to it us all. somebody it. shared it with us i posted it a, a few times reposted it's literally entertainment tonight was over at our house okay this was like the beginning of like blossom or something and and and, and matt was working and we had been off and give me a break and all these things and they matt was the, the amazing younger brother okay gave like the perfect answer because i was old you know the oldest and they were asking they were like so they were like joey i was like i always knew i wanted to do it which is true i always thought i wanted to do it ever since i was a little kid that is true wanted to be in the tv right and all the carson stuff and everything that happened to me and so and so and, and matt was like well i gotta be honest with you my brother joe is amazing inspiration to me and he's the reason why he's like my idol he's the reason why i want to do it. it's the most amazing Aww. answer ever he i still literally almost get emotional when i watch it <laughs> They cut to Andy. This is out there. Look at this Entertainment Tonight clip. It's out there, okay? And Andy is sitting there bored off his ass. He's three, and he's like this. With these puffy eyes. Clearly, they woke him up because he always was, come on, Andy, we're doing an interview. He's like, okay. I like, yeah. I like to think that. So, so he gets, he's sitting there in the chair like this, literally, and, he, and, and they're like, so Andy, tell me, like, like, um, so you're, do, you're acting too now? He's like, so well, who was your biggest inspiration? Was it your brother's? Because Matt had just set up perfectly, and he goes literally, literally like this. No. <laughs> They're like, it wasn't? He's like, no, it was, uh, it was Batman. Yeah. <laughs> but like, bored? The interview was like, <laughs> he was stone cold. I really ruined that suck <laughs> energy right out of the room. He was literally, yeah. oh my God. Stone it's, cold. And they're like, wait, <laughs> Batman? He just goes, yeah. <laughs> I like how he says it like Bruce himself. He was. No. You go down he was and raspy. Let me tell you why that's the best thing ever. That oh is a God. real that's kid. So cute. That's it. That was a real child that was not tainted by the industry in any way. Like, yeah. it was a normal kid saying, no, Batman. Like, yeah. you weren't thinking about the no, industry. I no, I wasn't. You were no, thinking about yeah. Halloween. Like, yeah. you were in, well, in the, the movie. And the power of Batman. I always loved to dress up. And uh, oh, he never I, left I, the house I, without I, a costume. My, at some ever. point, my mom... The way she'd get me out of the house is she would allow me to wear costumes underneath my actual clothing. Oh, yeah. um, Clark Kent type. And then I would turn mm -hmm. 17 and she said, these costumes have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You've been yeah, telling that joke for years. years Campbell that way. Hall. Campbell Hall. He's Hall. becoming an old guy. Him, He's like, got his go-to jokes. Andy's had his dad yeah. joke. Yeah. Yeah. That's Andy's dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> He's been saying that for years. Uh, uh, it's like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but uh, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, so, Sorry. so I just I think that, and then I got to, and then in like movies they let me. I feel like I was becoming like a character. I could dress yeah. up when we like did play. Brotherly yeah. Love. When we yeah. did Brotherly Love, Andy right. had. Well, that was we, really the. That we was were we were producing I that. My, my parents were producing that, so it was like so a big good. family affair, right? It was the way. It was, it was the first opportunity coming off of Blossom, where I was able to kind of call the shots and go like, okay, we can do anything we want to mm -hmm. do. So let's do it as a family because it was always about the family. Yep. And you know, and and we got the and everybody was in, was involved. And Andy's character dressed up in the show. Yeah. So we were able to, one of the greatest things ever, we were able to use that costume department and they made oh, him dude, it was the so greatest rad. costumes ever. Yeah. I'll tell you I about mean, a costume department. Do it. Okay, you guys. Woo! Let me tell you about a costume right? department. Yeah. When you have a costume department. When you department, have a costume department. At your fingertips. So cool. Halloween no. night. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Yes. 98? Yes. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember a cartoon by the name of Monsters. Of course. Mm -hmm. My costume Real. department. Was it crazy? Did crumb? Did no. the guy with no. the eyes up? Yes. I had fart spray underneath no. my armpit. Oh, no. The eyeballs in my head. Oh, you guys. My gosh. So cool. Let me tell you about a costume. Oh my gosh. Isn't it? Yeah. Just magic. Okay, like for clips. I'm so they jealous. Built, they well, built well, hold on. Really so I was going to be the mask, and then, but that thing. Andy they, got so the benefit of this as well. They were going to, I actually wanted the, the cast of like the actual yes. mask, but I was a kid, and back then That's they had so to like cool. put it in a bowl and pour it over your head, and, and they, they, I thought they were trying to drown he me. He didn't make it. So it didn't work. I tore the, the mask yeah, off. Yeah, you did. And you so they, they felt, production felt so bad that they had the costume designer make me the actual Riddler jacket <gasps> from, from Batman Forever. Batman Forever. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. But I mean, it lit up. I had a battery pack. It was velvet. 
it. It literally it was, was it the was movie. Perfect. It was, it yeah, was perfect. It was, it was like they made it for the film. Department. Costumes. Costumes. They were incredible. I didn't have that, they you guys. Incredible. I'm really I'm jealous. Sorry, I though. just remember Halloween Spirit Store works great too. <laughs> yeah, I was the little mask with the two white prepackaged Wonder Woman yeah. over here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Okay. You know what's great about that? All you gotta do is lift it up. It's like a little plate. You right. lift it up. <laughs> little little whiskers yeah. to be a cat. <laughs> yeah. and we all show up in these amazing oh, costumes. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, hey, you guys are. Oh yes, I, it's oh, fine. It's I'm so fine true. to be that oh, one person oh. at the table. Oh, no. I, I'm sorry. I just <laughs> know that when I was oh, like, god. I don't even know, maybe 12 or something, okay. I really wanted to be Al Roker. <laughs> it's, it's That's so genius. Weird. Yes. By the way, what a genius what? thing in costume. Yes. yes. <laughs> you guys meet Miranda, my wife. What? Genius. And I my love parents, it. My parents were like, no, I had this whole vision. Like, my That's going to be tough for you, sweetie. <laughs> I know. I can be anything I want to be. That's true. We've always said that. But Al Roker might be a stretch. <laughs> right. It's, uh, you know, it'd I be like me my, saying I'm going to be Nell Carter for how? <laughs> how's that going to work? I, I, wanted I just my do. Dad to be Matt Lauer and my mom to be Katie Kirk and I want to be <laughs> what Al Roker. News team Matt Lauer. Thing no, going listen, there's a picture Idea. of her. There's, as a, like there's a, a joke there that I'm not going to do. Yeah, uh, me Matt too. Lauer, I'm with or without the door lock. Ooh. I'm getting oh, yeah. oh. off. That's a joke. It's I heart. okay. There's a picture of babes on everybody's refrigerator across her family of her three years old sitting on a toilet holding the newspaper oh. with <laughs> curls in her hair, the feet, and she's like, I'm being my dad. It's the real estate section upside down. Oh my gosh. And yeah, I mean, I was, I wanted to like, be him. Like, she is but serious. I don't know. That is so I guess that funny. is the same thing about me wanting to be Al Roker. No, it is. No, that my makes dad. a lot of sense. Yeah. You know what? I remember, my, I, re I remember dressing up when I was a little kid. I remember my dad, you'd be like, like, like take your kid to work day and mm -hmm. I would get believe it or not a my dad always wore these three piece suits mm -hmm. I would I had a navy blue pinstripe three piece suit nice I wore to my dad's company and he let me slide the pass key like it was a passcode. So cool. I got to slide. I went in there and I literally sat in my dad's office. I'll never forget. It. I went several times and it was so much fun. And I knew all of his guys that worked for him. I knew Lou and Bill. I still know him this day. We talk about him. It's so cool. That big inspiration. I have more suits to this day. Than anything else, because it's my true. they I, don't yeah. fit because he wore them when he was seven. I <laughs> still no. He still no. got that blue no, pinstripe. You go, you go in my closet. It looks like I should be like a lawyer. I do have a blue pinstripe. It's up on the wall, <laughs> so right next funny. to the bow tie he wore on Johnny Carson and the tattoos. Yeah. My mom framed it. It's up on the wall. As it, as it really? should frame it. Yeah, it is. I lost the I lost the stuffy that I got from Jay Little when I was younger. He sent me a stuffy, but I don't know. He never gave me a stuffy. Well. He gave me a couple of bad jokes. That's, all I got. <laughs> That's easier for him to do. Yeah. What are we doing? Is, huh? People ask me if I work out with dumbbells. Sure, Jay and I go to the same gym. That was, uh, that was his joke <laughs> that he gave right. me. That's right. Right. No, that was it. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I should write my own material. Yeah, you yeah. should. Yeah. And look where it got you. Look yeah. where you Speaking True. of TikTok and all that stuff, yes. I did recently Were we see. About that? Yeah, I'm just taking us back to TikTok and stuff. Hold on. Uh, no, that was called a very abrupt transition. I like that. Back I like that. I like that. I don't mind it but, at all. And Johnny Carson is what it was because I saw that clip come up on TikTok recently of okay. you, and I was like, this is so cute is and ridiculous. so cute. And then you also were on Carson, and yeah. her clip on is like the cutest Isn't thing I've crazy? ever seen. That were that old. That were that and old. No, yeah. we, we, that we were that were still in this game. You that, know what I mean? I'll say that we're still in the game. That we know what that couch felt like because yes. there's no other couches like that. Arsenio Hall. Hall. I say, he's like, Arsenio. I say like, yeah, yeah, Arsenio. We did Arsenio. Arsenio. You know what Dude, that, that feels was like. Yeah. Yeah. It was. I'll never cool forget. That was a really cool Arsenio. I performed. I performed. Nothing my love can't fix on that show when it broke into the top five on Billboard. Right. We actually had to sell records. You know. And I'll never forget. I went out there. And, I, you know, I had not been on the show. That was the first time that I'd been on the show. And remember, with like, those, it was, like, the glass two walls, right? And with that with that turquoise light. Oh, my gosh. It was so cool. I remember. Those I Those things I opened. Loved... I was like, I'm on our city. I was more excited about doing that than anything else. I could not believe um, I was on his set. I knew that every time I went to Arsenio Hall, I had to do a good job because my parents would take me to the Beverly Center after yes! to the Hello yes! Kitty store. Yes! <laughs> The pet store. I'm not the a pet store Hello and Kitty. the Hello Kitty. She Hello Kitty. Kitty. That's where I'd go. Oh my gosh. Every time I did a so child. It's a not You want to hear a Hello Kitty story? Do you know that the, I was obsessed with Hello Kitty? I don't know why, what? but I was. Hold on, wait a minute. And my, we were we were in a mall. I, I was a little. I was a little, new every day. I was I a little kid. Was. Yeah. I was really. Like, yeah. I was like seven or Who something was like this. Who was your character? What uh, was it? The Hello kitty herself. It was just the kitty. 
I, and I remember there was a there was a magic there was just there just was a any, there in fact he's got this tattoo. No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Don't expose kitty. my secret. No, you guys should no. have that as merch. And, hold on, and, and <laughs> it was crazy. Kitty. And I wanted this rubber eraser. Hello Kitty. It, was, yeah. it smelled great. It was like oh. this they thing. smelled so Don't good. Don't tell me. So good. Sticky oh finger, God. Joe. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sticky so fingers. Was, and I didn't realize. I think I was like. I think I was like. You were like one or two. I was like five. Okay, or six. And I. I think I. I I had it in my hand, story. and I walked out of the store with it, right? With my <gasps> yes. mom. Yes. And I, honest to God, I did not take it. I literally had it. And You're I just. Five. Right, and my, my mom, oh my God, she flipped out on me. I literally walked was crying. you back. Made you give it to the person and say, oh, yes. Yes. I yes. had one of those two with my mom. Mom. I don't know what I did wrong. And yeah. lady's like, it's like I'm so sorry. I'll never forget it. It was Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Hello Let me tell you about the kitty. Hello Kitty. Nona Ryder needed your mom in her life. Ooh. Yeah, she did. Yeah. She did. Ooh, yes, she did. Child. She did. It's okay. I did a Matt Lauer joke. We're, we're all right. Okay. We're good. We're I wanted to be out broker. We can say it all. It's all good. No. I had the same thing, but with fruit. You stole an avocado? It was kind of. It was some sort of fruit or like... Nuts or something from the thing, and I was just I had him out, and Dad did the same thing. Oh yeah, like, you're taking those back. Yeah, and I say they were crying, and I'm oh, like, I'm yeah. sorry, I took some walnuts or whatever they were. That's yeah. crazy, babes. Do you want to tell them about your um, mishaps when it comes Ooh. to things, Ooh. or shall I? Theft? Shoplifting, bugle snatcher, <gasps> bugles, bugles. They're oh my god, <laughs> I, do not, I don't shoplift. I just, <laughs> I just, I just borrow. I just destroy. Oh, what? in the store. Here's the deal, you guys. I would have to like go to TJ Maxx or what I had an ex who liked to go to JCPenney and TJ Maxx and whatever and I'd get really bored but they have the snacks and stuff are lined everywhere. There's like aisles with just like yeah, yeah. candy and yeah. dollar. And then even when you go to like Michaels, they have the little lint chocolates at the Yeah, yeah. yeah. I squish them, squeeze them, break them and then wow. leave them. And don't take them. <laughs> Oh it's God. just one of those things where you just like you just. So start. I witnessed this firsthand with oh a God. bugle bag, and I was like, That's "What are you doing?" Do. I was like, "You're gonna buy that?" No. It's like, oh, okay. okay. So next time, yeah, wow. I get a bag of Damn bugles. It. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, all the crunchy crunchies. You yeah. know that I might have been there. Bugle dust. I've since yeah. stopped. I don't do it because I don't because we don't frequent those TV stores TV. anymore. There you go. Stay yeah. away from the bugle. If I did, I would. So watch out, TJ Maxx. <laughs> Uh, no, that's interesting. All of their faces, just like yeah, just, like, we don't really know where she to go looks with this. So nice, but <laughs> underneath is actually a villain. Absolutely, absolutely. I will destroy these bugles well, for all the kids. You have Batman and a villain. There Perfect. you go. Yes, it's necessary. Yeah. Sure. There it is. Bring there. it full circle. I like that. That's really wow. I wonder, did you ever dive into what the reason for that was? To dive into that bin? Oh, <laughs> I think. Honestly, got halfway through. I, I don't know. Continue. I don't know. It's like yeah. a sensory yeah, thing. Yeah, I, I get it. It's like if I had putty in my hand or something. No, my 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 Libby, my 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 thirteen year old, just loves to mix stuff up. Like if there's a lip balm, it, it turns into some serum. Like she just can't help it. I'm like, we just bought this lip balm. No. What is this lip? It's just she just. I used digs to digs in candles. Oh my god, dig. Dig, I'm holes in candles in her room. You know, she just likes to experiment. She likes to make potions. I you used know? to steal all the baby powder in the house okay. and mix it with soap and make Ooh. paste. Ooh. And my mom, like it's witchery. Well, and <laughs> it <laughs> got so bad. My mom called the concoctions. I would do that with room service as well. Concoctions. concoctions. Yeah. I would do that Matt with room was... service. So when we had lockdown, oh. the first mm. day, my mom sent me a text of all the different chemicals I'm not allowed to mix. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, do that not blow up so your funny. house. I was like, thanks for knowing me, that, mom. I thought you didn't know me, but she knew me. Have you, so did your daughter ever get into slime? Oh, yeah, of course. Because that's a big... Slime making was... Yeah. Huge. Oh, we yeah. take trips to Michael's and get all the stuff, you know, the borax or whatever the stuff. Yeah. It's not really there. good for you. And we mix all this stuff and make gallons of slime. Yeah. And then mm. you'd put like... Like crunchies in the slime, you know, like the little like yeah, styrofoam yeah, bubbles to yeah, yeah. make it. Oh, and then there's like just glitter be this, and this and this slap. All the good the table. stuff for the planet. Huh? Yeah, all the good stuff. <laughs> the yeah. stuff that just really keeps giving back. Yeah, it does. <laughs> what is the what is, is it? Is it called oublik? What is the stuff that oublik? oublik? What is the stuff oublik, that, oublik? that, that is liquid? But then when you yes, apply so force oublik. to yes. it, it it I used to make that stuff. I, I know exactly what you're talking it's about. It's such an interesting thing because literally you can walk. Yeah, I'm looking it up. You can walk across it fast, but if you stop, you'll sink. It's um, yeah. it's it's the way the structure Never is. It goes from liquid to solid yes. form. I know exactly. With pressure. Liquid. So the, literally, you can break your hand if you hit it like that, but you could push your fingers and your whole hand through it. Yes, That's like you Gak. Can. Sounds like a like a Marvel. That's movie. what I was. Remember Gak? 
Yes. Gak. Yeah. It yeah. sounds like oh Gak. Oh, remember Gak? Oh, I remember yeah. Gak. That was my and shit. I love Gak. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to find so Koosh balls? Never heard of, oh, Who likes Koosh balls? Those oh, are, Koosh balls. God, I love those. You, I Something so rewarding about just throwing that thing up and just Catch catching it, it yeah. with all the little, so band, with all the little rubber so band things. And you know, this generation, they call them fidgets. The spinners. Oh, the fidget oh, yeah. spinners. Yeah. I got, those were banned from my set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what I loved is why they came up with it. It's because it keeps me from being, I don't know, it keeps me focused. Or like, yeah. yeah. It keeps you from being present in the actual moment. Yeah, right. I know. How about this? How about no. we put that down? We just talk, you and me. That no, part. I gotta have this, otherwise I don't know how to communicate. It's like, I don't know. Yeah. You that's, know, we had, right. That's, that's, that's the thing. That's another we thing. Had, they, they, we call them just toys. <laughs> We just played with it. <laughs> now you know they're what I mean? like, like when we got fidgety, we were like, "Here, Matt, play with this." You know, exactly. You know, I mean, that 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 was that was it. Is that now a fidget? There's... No, it's a dreidel. Right? Now, yeah, <laughs> we just spin it. It yeah, has a little song exactly. that goes with it. Yeah. It's fantastic. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Uh, no, but it's that's right. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's right. A dreidel I will play. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Adam Sandler when you need him? We, you guys, we gotta have we a good have song. We have touched on every topic I know. that's yeah. here, we and what? it makes me extremely happy. I'm sweating, but I'm happy. I'm sweating too. I'm a little right? hot. I'm sweating too. Down down the air down here, it's a little hot. But it's been, it's been a pleasure. It's, it and has, and it's right, babes. Like rarely do we actually get to sit at a table with people. Family members that have worked together because that's another dynamic. <gasps> I yeah. know Absolutely. that's a different. It is. You guys have worked with your families your whole lives. Huh? Yeah. It's weird, you know. We and and it's really weird because we worked a lot together and then we took a break. Yeah. And then literally like didn't go band, so well. So no, now we're, well, we got the band then, back yeah. together. It all collapsed. So we're like, yeah. we <laughs> clearly need each other. <laughs> we, we prefer. No, it, honestly. Uh, <laughs> no we hey really guys. What do we? Let's pool our money together and do something. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get a one bedroom. <laughs> uh, no, uh, no, no. And then uh, genuinely though, no, I do. No, genuinely though, he's serious. Yeah. No, genuinely, I'm not though, serious. We have a one bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sir. Surely you can't be serious. That's what this. Of course I'm serious. Don't call me Shirley. You don't realize we all live right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to our home. Uh, no, um, but, and then pandemic, we said, you know what, maybe like we get the band back together and start doing something. And we did in the last three years has been really awesome, but it's, oh, uh, I love that. yeah, it's been really yeah. cool to do this as like grown men because we did it as kids, you know? Yeah. yeah there's yeah. a difference. So cool. There's a difference. Big there's difference. a different mentality. I'm sure you feel there's, it too. Like, yeah. I mean, just I doing do. what you're doing I'm still is... dealing with it. Like still wrapping my head around it because like you had a different, Life that I did, obviously, right. you know what I mean. Three right. men, yeah. boys, uh, different course, age brackets. Absolutely. Me, you know, just me and my family, and I'm like the main person. But yeah. right. it's interesting to see it because only this only comes out of my mouth for a couple of people. But you guys were the people that I watched while I was growing up oh as my well. Gosh. It was like y'all, Alicia Silverstone, right, 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 yeah. right. Also Dick Van Dyke, and also Dude. that time period as well. Let me tell you something though. That's what separates you. Yeah. Dick Van Dyke, yeah. well, Carson, yeah. these legends. Lucille Ball. I mean, Lucille, Lucille yeah. Ball. Carol me, Burnett. I'll Carol tell you this Burnett. all the time. Wow. I got to tap dance and train for a week and do a routine live in front of a studio audience with Sammy Davis Jr. Okay, on Give Me a Break. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. Oh. And I'll tell you something. Man. I was a tapper, right? That's how I got on Carson. I, I tap danced with Doc Severinsen in the band and sang and danced. That's how I did my thing. That's why NBC signed me, right? To, when I didn't even understand... Like, you know, it was 10 years later that I realized, Yeah. wait a minute, that's, that's I guy. tap dance with Sammy Davis Jr. Arguably, by the way, and Frank was the first person to say it, the greatest entertainer ever. Ever. Yeah. ever. The ever. guy yeah. could do it Any, every all. Yeah. all. And he was all well. And all really well. There's a difference. He was, yeah. he was <laughs> as good a dancer as Gene Kelly. Yep. Yep. He could sing, sing as good as Frank. Frank. Yep. Yep. He could be as funny as Dean Martin yep. and, and Jerry Lewis. Yep. He all literally true. could yep. do it all. It's so true. The guy really was, was unbelievable. There's an amazing clip. You can Google this too. And I think it's his, it's, it's like so his, true, it's man. either his 70th, 75th birthday, 80th birthday, something like this. He was very old, right before he passed away. Michael Jackson mm. did a tribute to him. Mm. And Michael performed two feet from Sammy Davis Jr., I mean, it's unbelievable. But those like, names, like, yeah. I'm sure you George went, Burns. George Burns. I did comedy skits in Vegas with George Burns like, and Milton Berle. Milton Berle, too. Yes. I mean, like... Like, I, to be able to say legends. that, though, legends. Yeah. You know Bob what I mean? Hope Remember Night special. of 100 Stars? Yeah. I went to the Jerry... Jerry, Jerry uh, Lewis, Lewis Telethon. Telethon. Yeah. Of course, we did too. that. Oh, but yeah. But it's like, we don't... We have those people now, but I don't know them as well yeah. for this generation. No. Do you know what I mean? Like, we were talking about that. Say people, I was this morning. Literally this morning, we were yeah. talking to a friend of ours who was like, isn't it funny that Justin Bieber is going to be 
this generation's Michael Jackson. That is insane. And wow. we were That's kind of insane. like, whoa, I crazy. guess. That's and terrible. I would like to fight that and say yeah. Beyonce is this generation's Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd I don't. That makes more sense. I think so. I say this all the time. Beyonce somebody else. You, you I know, but else. I didn't want to. I didn't want to start a conversation. I think it's oh, Beyonce it. is our next Michael Jackson. I think yeah. you're. I think, I think you're right. right. I think you're right. Yeah. I think. I think what's different now is that, especially growing up in the '80s, we got the tail end of. Oh my god. We got yeah. the tail end of like the greatest of greats. I mean, and and I say that with all due respect to today's greats because Beyonce is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she I is. Love her, and she will transcend. Yeah. But she when will. we were growing up, but there was, we, had there we had handfuls yeah. of yeah. people. We had, and you can go down the list, and we go through them all the time. All the time. Can, I mean, yep. you had... You had Tina Turner. You had Whitney mm. Houston. You had Patti LaBelle. Rick James. Rick James. Rick James. Aretha Franklin. Prince. I mean, right. Prince. Prince. Michael. Michael. Prince. Michael. Lionel Richie. Goes Stevie on. Wonder. Smokey Robinson. Smokey Robinson. Robinson. I mean, these were... It just, just keeps Earth flowing. Had, you had everybody. iconic yeah, artists. It's all music. Yeah. But, but, but no, but you can do the things too. too, but at the same time, they all worked together. Yes, yeah. It was all underneath their same roof, and it was right. harder to get in the industry. It was. It was harder. And now it's like... I can't, no offense, and I love the new music, but like, I can't exactly. name I love as you. much. I love, I love that reaction <laughs> too. First of all, everybody sounds the same. I mean, <laughs> yeah. We, we yeah. used to sing, Tina Turner comes on the song. I mean, you, you knew know. in two seconds yeah. it was Patti LaBelle or Tina yeah. Turner. Spirit. Like, I'm, I'm thinking, who's this? Hear, let me, let me, who's this? Let me, Auto tune? Who's this? I remember yeah. when I was doing one of my albums, I went into the studio. I was like, I want to do da 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 And they were like, no, no, no. We need rhythm. We need metaphors. And now when you listen to music, there is no rhythm or metaphors. No. But it's their right. It's their way they're writing. It's this generation's. I'm not shitting on it. I'm just saying. I shit on it a little bit. I do too. Well, <laughs> well their ears are being trained now to, to, to not even. No be, melody. To differ- yeah, I call differentiate it, I between call it, keys and tones. I call and it, it's like yeah. it's a whole thing. Frequency, I call it like a, the Drake effect, thing, and, I, and I'm and I'm cool. Drake's released some cool records and stuff, but like, dude, to me, it sounds like rehearsal. Care. No, it I sounds. Love, like, I, I love, love him too, too, but it sounds like rehearsal. It's, it's my ears <gasps> chain differently because like, because they're. Know, I'm, talking about, uh, well, it's not, yeah, it's I'm like, is this? A, are you just you, marking it, or are you gonna like? Are you mark, gonna no, 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 it at no, some no, point, that's or? the energy now yeah. to yeah. market. To market. Yeah. And yeah. when you market, that's the TikTok dance. It's like how cool. Right. Too cool. And when I did that, when I did that, when I was growing up, I know. Oh, you were. Sorry. No, you were. No, it was just you were. You were yelled at. You was called half ass in it. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. That's what it was. We're going. We Full have out. to work to be yeah. here. Why are you full have, yeah. out sweaty? Yes, to it. where I'm standing next to someone who's sorry. I'm just you're good. You you're don't good. Start. You're good. Literally, we have I mics just, everywhere. It's the Matrix in here. So. Oh, well, yeah, no. It's literally, not. I remember even recently. I'm going. I had a broken ankle. Wow. I had sprained my ankle because I was looking at some architecture and I sprained it on the. Th- and it, does, it doesn't matter. Anyway, swollen. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. Yeah. Swollen. I was 216 pounds and what? I was in a musical. Were you really? I was in a musical. Okay. okay? Holy right. cow! She's lost weight since we got married. Hate <laughs> okay. okay. weight is gone. had a whole health kick. Um, okay. And I remember doing this performance and the kids watching me, and after every take, sat down, didn't complain. Yeah, yeah. Didn't complain. Listen, okay. Listen up, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Ice pack, whatever. Raven, you okay? I'm okay. Let's go. Let's go. And the, some of the other people that I watched doing it. Right. Right. Yeah. Half assing yeah, it, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm like. What? Yeah. You, no, you're not getting. You're oh, this is, and you're saying good. Yeah. You like okay, good. What in the world? I know. I'm confused. Me too. At me too. what I went through slash what's happening. There's very few people. Got to work hard. That's I mean, it. I mean, you to me, I look out there in the landscape. I mean. Bruno Mars is the only one that I see yeah, that still brings he's it. He's good. Yeah, he brings Bruno, it. Bruno, but Bruno he knows how to bring it. it. Usher brings it. Usher brings it. Yeah. Usher brings but it. But Usher comes from another time period. They both yeah. do. They both, they both do. do. I mean, Bruno always aspired. He's old school. That's why all his records exactly. are 70s, 80s, because that's the era. I yeah. mean, you yeah. know. And then, you know, again, I just want to cover my bases and say, this is this generation. Because we is. also kind of, but not really, but kind of sound like our parents. We you do. Know, we you do. know what yeah. I mean? We kind of sound like them with, we what's do. that rock and roll that I you're know. listening yeah, to? Yeah, so true. And at the same time, we're also talking about the energy put into the record. That's what we're talking about. The 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 showmanship. The sounds will change, mm-hmm. but showman, showmanship, the showmanship, energy, ship, effort. It's yeah. different. That's it's not just transcend. sexually based. That, Ours wasn't sexually based no. back then. I say right. it all the time. 
the time. The innuendo in records. I listened to some of the Madonna stuff when I was 11. I didn't know any. If you were listening for what Like a Virgin meant, you'd understand it. But it was it was not, it was like veiled innuendo. It was just, it was there. Like Janet Jackson. She was the queen oh of innuendo. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You didn't know. Like, you didn't know anything. Let's, yeah. let's wait a while. I mean, yeah. yeah. Let's wait a while. Too oh. Oh. Before it's too oh. late, let's wait a while. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. I love her. Dude. But not now. Dude. I heard a song the other day. Uh, My, I'm like, I can't even say it. What is it? Yeah. No, now yeah. it's not It's not Janet, but it's like, give me one margarita. I'm gonna, uh, nah. yeah. Give me two, two margaritas. margaritas. I'm going to open my legs. I'm sure you guys have all heard that yeah. on TikTok. What was that That's joke like the biggest thing. About? No, I haven't heard this. Remember, no? remember, remember the joke you <laughs> were talking about? What is this? Margaritas, joke, huh? <laughs> no, what? Yeah, no. It was, Marky? Oh, God. A Marky? I love Marky. No, uh, we had a friend who disappeared off of margaritas. He was obsessed with them, and somebody kept offering them. He'd disappear. We'd margaritas? lost margaritas? And then you couldn't. Guys found, gone. Right? We did find him. Oh, still a missing person? No, we found him. We found him. Took a lot of phone calls and a bag of cash. We got him back. We got him back. No, no. Anyway, but you're but you're absolutely right. That's to me. It was like it's like the best of animation when you can watch mm. a Toy Story and the jokes are in there for the adults, but most of them go over the kids' heads. Exactly. You know, like the yeah. kids are there. They exactly. they can see what they want to take from it, and the adults will take what's meant to be. Yeah. I feel like we've gotten so far out of control. It's so overt. It's not even sexy to me because it's just no. so overt. Yeah. Like we, there is no sort of innuendo anymore. It's just like right there in your face. And the innuendo is interesting because it lends room for the imagination you got it, and dude. honestly imagination is so powerful if you want to hook people Amen. you have to play upon their imagination that's it, that's it. You're and right. that's how everything You're works right. and it's really sad it makes for a, a you know a, a more boring consumer in a way and it then does. a product that doesn't require imagination or curiosity or excitement or effort and it's also a thing that my wife and I talk about too we watch a lot of shows obviously of course and one of the things that we've been talking about is the tempo of Pacing. the story yeah. that's yes. being told nowadays yes. we're yeah, yeah, re-watching yeah. Breaking Bad right mm. and I'm like oh this feels so good it felt we, right it felt right yeah. we were yeah. watching some show that came out more recently and I'm just like yeah. wait mm -hmm. I'm missing so much. Where's the? I, I have mean, to rewatch stuff sometimes. It feels like I'm whiplash. Like, What's going on? Yeah. What's happening? How the heck did this? They're starting to create yeah. sound bites, which is not storytelling. That's exactly what that's they're doing. That's the social media world. That's not yeah. storytelling. Let's not get away from that. And to your point, they also underestimate the intellect of the audience to piece it together. Oh, they exactly. don't. They don't trust show us anymore. Everything. My, my the biggest metaphor, and we can end on this, but my the biggest metaphor that I that I can use is, and Andy and I and Matt talk about it all the time. The insert shot. Oh God! What the? I can't stand an insert uh, shot. I mean, Not I, only I, is it hands. something in the wide and in the two and in the over to show the phone. No, we need an insert of them dialing because I have to make sure the audience knows it's a phone and then they're dialing. They're on it. But they're they, on the phone. But you're I mean, also but you're also dealing with the actor who doesn't know how to use the insert shot appropriately. That's true. Right. Oh, I know. And literally, I dare someone to tell oh me not God. to hold my phone like this. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. What are you doing? I'm giving you the insert shot. Are yeah. you not exactly. prepared? Of course. Are you not exactly. prepared? Exactly. Shooting past my shoulder, so I'm opening up for you. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Roll the camera. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's move on. You can get yeah. it all yeah, in the I same know. one. Yeah, yes. you don't need to do uh, oh, It's just like, oh, you know, the please. Insert shot. The insert. Can we get an insert of this? I'm like, oh my God. It looks so gross. They just underestimate. They don't let things play in the frame anymore. We could go down. I mean, back and, in the day, and they don't, comedy plays in a frame. And they comedy don't, is a Broadway it, show. It is. Yeah. It is. Sitcoms comedy are a dies in yes. edits. If you over edit comedy, everything is a close up, close up, close up. Totally. They wonder why half hour comedy on TV doesn't work. It, yeah. You're not letting it live in the frame. Exactly. You, just, you, you I don't know what this so other true. person's doing. Exactly. It feels right. It, you know it. It's like a song and dance. You really it, when it when it feels All musical. right, it is musical. Right. musical. Yeah. That's why so many comedians can also sing because there's exactly. a musicality to it. That's how 100%. comedy is done, and that's, that's why it. even when I'm directing now and I tell the kids, oh. I'm like. You suck, but yep. Yep. keep doing it, and the song's gonna sound good eventually. Exactly. Let's right. go. There Let's go. go. Let's exactly go. Exactly right. I'm into that. Love it, wow. Guys. Hard work. That's guys. it. Diligence, yeah. perseverance, legends. I'm so blessed, yeah, you guys. Like Wonderful. Today. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Raven and Miranda, everybody. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful weekend, everybody. Absolutely. God bless. We will see you next Friday on the Brotherly Love Podcast. God bless. Bye. Peace see you. Bye. 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 Hey guys, the Lawrence Brothers here to thank you for tuning in and watching this episode of the Brotherly Love Podcast. And for exclusive weekly bonus content, join our Patreon now. The link is also in the description. And we will see you guys next week. Next week. Next week.